Greeting to you all on this early Tuesday afternoon. Of course, this is your brother in Christ, Sean the Intercessor. So today, um, I decided to just go ahead and I prayed that the Father is okay and pleased with this. Um, to come and reveal to you a spiritual dream, a prophetic spiritual dream that the Lord revealed to me a couple of weeks ago into a month ago. But before I get into that dream and release this over your life, I want to come from Acts 2 and 3. Because this is what this dream is coming from. And I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. And it basically says, When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Verse 2, Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came down from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. Verse 3, They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each one of them. So a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, into a month, let me say it that way, the Lord gave me a dream, a vision of me sitting at a bench outside. It was like summer like, and the sun was dimming down. And there were younger people and there were older people sitting at this bench. There was a familiar psalmist and apostle in the Lord's church. Her name was Psalmist Ray, and I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with her. And this baby could have been between the ages of 5 through 12 was singing a song by this familiar artist called Phyllis. And the baby's voice was of like angels. And, um, and I believe in the dream the Lord was revealing to me about what he's getting ready to do. Because as I was looking up, I saw some people receiving a gift and I saw some sitting down. And I believe the Lord was saying that in this season and seasons to come, that he is going to pour out his spirit. I don't know if there were anybody that was praying, especially intercessors that were praying for an outpouring of the Spirit. And I know we're seeing revivals all over the place. But I believe the Father was saying to me in this dream that He's only pouring out His Spirit upon those that are serious about what He is doing and about His business. The Lord will not be pouring out the Spirit upon those that are just going to play around with the gift, with the outpouring. Because there's a lot of us who have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, yet we play around with it, yet we waste God's time. He's looking for ready people that's not worried about what's going on around them. Whatever they got going on in their personal lives, they're putting it at the altar and they're doing what the Lord Jesus has called them to do by way of the Holy Spirit. As you can see and have seen, we have a lot of people that are calling themselves prophets, apostles. My Bible tells me that he gave, the Father gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be teachers and preachers and evangelists. Not everybody is called to be a prophet. Now there are the office of the prophet. Those that have a prophetic anointing. And those that are called to the prophetic. Not everybody is called to the office of the prophet. Just because you can prophesy does not mean that you are called to the office of the prophet. Because not all of us can handle that kind of walk but we have been called to be prophets in our homes by carrying the word of God declaring the word of God speaking the word of God because I believe in my spirit that even though all of us are not called to the office of the prophet I believe in my spirit that God desires for us to have a prophetic gift on our lives so I just came to share this word with you that in the coming days 
there is going to be an outpouring of the Spirit. A heavy, 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 intense outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But the Father is going to only pour His Spirit out on those that are serious about the walk, that are serious about the lifestyle, that, that is serious about kingdom. Because there are too many people that's asking for something, but they're not making any moves. And God is looking for people that are going to make moves. They are going to abandon what they got going on, what's going on around them, knowing that God can do anything but fail. And they're going to complete a work. And this goes for women. This goes for men. This goes for children. Anybody. Because my Bible also tells me that God does not respect upon man. And I pray I said that correctly. And if I did, please forgive me. You guys know what I mean. That means God doesn't love me more than he loves you. He loves us all the same. And God is pouring his spirit upon all flesh. Women and men. Women and men. Women and men. So I pray that you guys receive this word. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And let's be who God has called us to be. Now I do warn you for those of you that walk around calling yourself a prophet or an apostle. And you know that you're not called to that. You're just doing that to, you know, get a reaction out of people. Please stop doing that. Please. Please. Because that's deceiving people. That's manipulating people. And that's a form of witchcraft. So I pray that you guys receive this word from the Lord. My prayer is that when we do experience the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, which I pray I'm a part of that, we, that we will take it and run with it and do what God has called us to do. Because remember, the Holy Spirit is just not for us. It's for us to share with people. And we have too many people that is hiding the gift of the Holy Spirit. It's hiding it. But we're supposed to be sharing it. So I encourage you to share the gift of the Holy Spirit with people. So people can receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon them. That's what the Bible also says. So they can be endowed with power. Amen. But you guys be blessed. I pray that you guys receive this word in Jesus' name. God loves you. And let's continue to live for God. As they always say, keep your eyes set on Jesus. Be blessed in Jesus' name.